One very important part while we do calculations with computer with the uh, case of compound interest is usage of the calculator. Now candidates obviously are aware that you'll be given a simple non-scientific calculator. So using this, how can you find uh, complex quantities like say 2.7 raised to 8 or 2.7 raised to minus 8 or you want to find the 8th root of some number or the 6th root of a number, given number because quite very often when we have to find the rate of interest or to find the period, we may have to find out the 6th root of a particular rate or in such case. So how do we use the calculator in such cases? We'll highlight a few possibly the most difficult calculations that can be done using the simple non-scientific calculator because you will be allowed to use that for your exams. So candidates please take care as to how it can be done. So we'll be focusing on how to use the calculator for these calculations. Let's take a couple of examples. Say for example you need to calculate 1.2 raised to 8. So I will go step by step. Now obviously 1.2 raised to 8 means 1.2 multiplied by itself 8 times. So how do we go about doing things? So we have 1.2 into we have we have equal to so when you're done this you're done it twice so count it as 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so that is you have done 1.2 multiplied by itself to that is 8 times which is the same as 1.2 raised to 8. It turns out to be 4.2998 So basically you have multiplied 1.2 by itself. So you just have to take care that when you press it once that is 1.2 into itself it is already taken as 2. So you have to start counting with 2 once you press it and hence you get it this way. Now, so this gives you 1.2 raised to 8. Furthermore, now suppose you need to calculate 1.2 raised to minus 8 which would mean 1 divided by 1.2 raised to 8. So in such a case, what do you do? We take 1, you divide it by 1.2. And you get it as 0 0.833. Now here you are pressed once. So twice, thrice, 4, 5, 6, 7 and you have 8. So this is 1 upon 1.2 raised to 8 which is 0 0.23256803934 and thus we can calculate 1.2 raised to minus 8. Hence, we have it that way. Uh, of course, we have a simpler way. We already of calculating 1.2 raised to minus 8. We already have calculated 1.2 raised to 8. So, you just put that number in the memory. So, we can do it this way once again. So, we have 1.2 into equal to this is 2 times 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and hence you put it in memory and then next 1 divided by what we have in the memory which also turns out to be 0 0.23256803936 which was the same as 1 divided by 1.2 raised to 8. So either of the ways you can do it. The next calculation that we have is uh, something like this. How to find the nth root of a particular number. Suppose you want to find the 6th root of 64 or the 5th root of say 32. How do we do it? So suppose I want to find, I want to find the 5th root of 3125. Basically 5 raised to 5 is 3125. So we have to find the 5th root of 3125. So now, we first step is take the number that is key in the number which is 3, 1, 2, 5. That is the first step. So we have taken the number 3, 1, 2, 5. The next step is press the root sign that is root x 12 times. Just 
count 12 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so we have this as we have pressed the root sign 12 times after keying in 3 1 2 5 next subtract 1 from it so minus 1 and you get this number now you have this particular number now you need to find the fifth root so divide this number by 5 suppose you want to find the sixth root you have to divide by 6 right so since we want to find the fifth root you divide this number by 5 and you get this particular number now to this you add 1 and you get this particular number 1.00 now finally since we took this root 12 times we took this root so to compensate for that we need to we need to multiply we, we need to press the combination of into and equal to 12 times so we do it into equal to once 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and you get 5.006 which is roughly 5 and which is what is the fifth root of 3125. So in this way we can find so just I repeat it you just take the number you press the root sign 12 times then subtract 1 from that number then if, since we have to find the fifth root you have to divide by 5 suppose you have to find the sixth root the first three steps are the same you have, after that you have to divide by 6 after that you add 1 to that number to compensate for the subtraction of 1 which you did in the previous step after you get this once you get this we have the final step when you multiply it by itself 12 times by pressing into and equal to combination 12 times and you get the desired root of that particular number. This is how we can find the number. This is going to help you a lot in later on in when, when you do calculations on compound interest, simple interest, even annuity to find the nth root of a particular number. Now one very critical thing that candidates have to note that suppose you want to find the fifth root of 3125 some candidates, a few of them also have a tendency to do this. They key in 3125, then find the square root. Once you found the square root, they press this five times. Now when you press it once more time, one more time, you're finding the square root of the square root, which is a fourth root. And then if you press it once more, you get the eighth root. When you press it once more, you get the sixteenth root. When you press it once more, you get the 32nd root, which is not what we want. So if you are going to press the root sign five times, it is, means you are going to, it is going to be whatever is the number raised to 1 by 2 raised to 5, which is going to be 1, the 32nd root of the number, which is not what we can do. So we cannot press the square root sign five times to get the fifth root. So candidates have to note this.